Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Mortal Shell. Uh, this is effectively a open beta sort of demo test, I suppose. Open to all, from what I understand, so just head over to the Epic Store. You should be able to find it on there. That's where I've gotten it. It's not like I got a particular code or invite or anything like that. This is a game that's recently been sort of announced and showcased, and uh, it looks like... It, oh, I'm not 100% sure if it's out this year or next year but it looks very sexy it's very much in the vein of dark souls uh, especially like in the thematic dark fantasy sort of setting i mean just look at this gloom and there's these bloody blokes these droning monks for the soundtrack you can sort of get an idea of what it's all about and i'm all about those games it's been a while since i've well i've only, i've played all the dark soul games but i only really play them at release so it's been quite a while since i've played something like that so anyway, I thought we would have a look at this today and see what it's actually all about. So let's just jump in, I suppose. A simple loot. Consumable. Okay, nice. Uh, uh. Beyond the grip of the familiar, a threshold demands to be crossed. The mortal shells yearn for meaning, awaiting a glimpse of their true purpose. Okay. Oh! Jeez, he's looking good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, alright. Alright, I'm all about this. Oh, what's going on out here? Oh, there's a bloke out here. Hello, sir. You have inherited the ability to harden your body. Hardening prevents harm from attacks, but is broken quickly upon taking physical damage. Press L trigger. Hold L trigger to harden. Okay. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, it didn't work. It's got a cooldown. Dude, that's rad. <laughs> What's that? It's like a tower? Cool. Hello, sir. More lessons, please. Oh, you're a statue. Can I have your gat, please? Yes. I'm all about this ambience that... A heavy sword with a hollow at its centered. Hallowed sword. Okay. Harden while attacking. You may harden in most situations, even while attacking. Experiment with hardening. Oh, okay. So... The hardening mechanic may well be independent of frame, of, of animations. That's fascinating. While attacking with, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so it actually, all right, but in and of itself, it cancels, it cancels the animation. Oh, is that the cooldown down the bottom left? It is, that's the cooldown. How long can I stay hardened for? Infinite. It kind of functions like a pause button, like how you can pause in a turn-based fight. 
that is... I'm impressed with the implications of this, this, um, ability. A quiet item mortal token, a token which, t uh, begets a connection to something or other. Okay. Open inventory. Um, yeah, let's use it. Let's go. Use item. Next damage taken will harden, converts to health. Is that what it said? Hang on. Can I... Oh, I've already used the, the token. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll learn as we go. All right, I'm all about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. This is a good tutorial. I love this bloody oppressive mist. Hardener. Oh, Jesus. Now I've got a health bar. It's on. It's bloody on now. Oh, okay. I'm all about this. This is sick. All right. Oh. Scran's on. Time to go get some food. Oh, Jesus. Who's this bloke? Oh, wait. Did he turn into him? Not clear. Oh! Oh, it's like my Uber. Okay. Radiant Winter Glass. Key item. Okay, those screens are so quick. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. What? No, give me the screen back if you're going to load. Give me the bloody info screen back. I'd love to read. I want to learn. No? Okay, we're going to... We'll just, we'll just load then. That's fine. Wow, okay, really. Well, hey, I'm sure that's something you could easily fix, though, right? You could just put a splash back up. Look, and then it gives it back to me. Why, game? <laughs> oh, what's going on here? My heart's beating. Inhabit unknown shell. Oh, dude, look at this dude's duds. Am I going to just get inside this man? Hmm, this is an interesting sort of role to play. Hello, sir. Oh, oh, this is crazy. Oh, I get some music now. Tarnished seal. As you awaken, your hand reaches down instinctively, grasping an object which feels somehow familiar. The tarnished seal enables you to parry enemy strikes, interrupting their attacks. The seal will also warn you of incoming unparryable strikes. Okay. We'll give it a go. Seal infusion healing. The seal appears to have been infused with power, giving your parry the ability to leave an enemy vulnerable to an empowered riposte. The seal requires great resolve to harness such an infusion. Performing an empowered riposte or riposte, it depends who you are, will heal you. Parry. There. Requires resolve. That's fine. This is all normal. Oh my god. Hello, sword. Mechanical spike. Gain enough resolve from attacking enemies to activate a powerful weapon ability. What's that? You press... Okay. Yeah, I can get around this. I'm a, I'm a sort of dodge roll type bloke. That's how I do these games. Oh, look at that. I sort of hardened a little bit when I back up. That's cool. Oh. Oh, I thought we were going to be buddies. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this bloke's unimpressed. Alright, I, lo I love the rhythm of this game. Feels good, man. Any any loot? No. Alright, can I can I sit down at the bonfire? Maybe not. Pick up simple loot. Yes! I gave my love a chicken. I'm just gonna animal house with this loot and belt someone in the head. Oh, that's that's not good. In fact, how do I get inventory up? Ooh. Use this item to reveal its effect. Oh, okay. Practice makes perfect. Am I gonna bust out some beats? Oh man, I'm shit. <laughs> it's so good. This bloke's coming to check it out. Uh, okay, never mind. It's all over now. Hello, sir. Oh, oh, <laughs> what has happened here? Oh, oh, they <laughs> knocked me socks off. They belted me out of me bloody, um, lycra skin suit. No more green man for me. Oh, wow. This is. This is sick! Oh! Dude, that was so cool! Okay. I come back with this bloke. Okay. We've respawned the area. Uh, maybe I have souls that I can pick up. You know how it be. And these guys bashing out the beats. I feel kind of bad to kill this man, because he seems quite competent. Oh shit, that's a trap I've stepped in. That's not really good. I feel bad killing these men. Can I have another loot? Let me... No, I'm not allowed to pick up the loot. Okay. How do I pick that up? Come on. Oh, there's the other blokes coming up on my quarter. I can hear him. Uh oh. Let me back in. Oh, I think I think I can get back in my car if I'm quick. What is this? What's it saying? I can't read it. Okay, that's fine. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so generally playing when I play these Dark Souls type games, I love to be a glass cannon with like a really close range weapon. Like I, I take the big debuff of being easy to kill. I don't block. I don't parry. I just dodge and get in really close and hammer him with raw damage. I don't know why, but that's just how I play. Dude, this thing is so sick. Alright, come have a go. Oh, I, I released it early. Wow. 
So, I'm trying to play it like Dark Souls, and it occurs to me, maybe the best way to do it is get in, get your attacks, back out. You know, like, go in on the back of having the, the shell ability. Glimpse of Futility. Oh, I'll play some more loot. Let's go. I like the- I love games like this where you have like a mini level up thing. Griftlands does that as well. Like every time you use a card, it gets a little pip for experience and it'll level up eventually. Sitting in the mushrooms, just banging out some Akadaka. Alright, I got my familiarity, that's fine. Okay, so you don't really have to sit through the whole tune. I would like to. Wait, I've got another loot? So, alright, so if I stand up, like, immediately... Oh. Use seven more times to reveal... Do, what, do I have the loot permanently now? Is that what's going on? Assigned a quick slot. And what's this? Glimpse of futility. Okay, so how's the quick slots work? And how do I... Glimpse into your shell when consumed. I can hear someone nearby. Right, okay. Oh, so is my loot infinite now? I can just punch out some... Punch out some beats on occasion? Do I get more familiarity if I let it play? I can't remember if I got interrupted the other time, or if it was because... I just, maybe I stood up. I can't... Well, I don't know. I want my familiarity. Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Which way? Which way? That guy's... There's something on the ground near this bloke. So let's go over here. I don't have a lot of hits left in me. Forty health over sixty seconds. Come on, I'm not standing on that trap. You really want me to, don't you? Oh, is that on, on a cooldown? Oh, it's on a cooldown. That's interesting. That probably makes it. I wonder if that cooldown goes through death as well, to stop me from, uh, say, farming it by dying and... if you follow. Oh man, I badly want to play this game. I'm kind of upset that it's only a demo. Alright, so we probably want to back off until Michelle comes back. Ah, uh, bugger, I'm out of- out of stamina. Oh, didn't I have more mushrooms? I thought I had two mushrooms. Sad. Inferior moonshine. Yeah, gimme- give gimme give some of that. This is good, it, it, it encourages you to use all the consumables. Oh, a baguette? Yum, just eat it. Oh, yes. Small boost to health. Oh, I'm super familiar with baguettes, don't you know? Scripture of Repent. Next parry lights enemies on fire. Oh, I better start parrying. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's how you parry? Jesus Christ. I'm, I should start doing that, that's cool. There are some big dudes around here. More mushrooms? Spectral token. Getting struck while hardened will boost the damage of your next attack. Let's go. I don't know if I want to go through there just yet. Let's maybe... Start some shit with this bloke here.
Did that loot just aggro the other bloke as well? Nope. You want to take me on together, do you? Okay. Look each to their own. Oh. Oh. Apparently that's not the way to do it. Go on. Go on, son. Oh, yes! Let me back in my car, please. Nope. It seems to have some sort of interactable on on my, my car when I get knocked out. I need to get back into it. Festus's glimpse of tenacity. Used to gain glimpses. Yeah, okay. Cool, I will. If there's like a first bonfire, I don't think we've gotten to it yet. What's going on here? Okay, that's not fucking freaky as anything. Alright, we've got a long way to go to get my souls back. I gave my love a chicken. Okay. Let's get rocking and rolling, team. So, the big guy that I killed, I think, might have despawned him. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, my stamina is not regening. Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, fuck! I pressed the wrong button. Hang on. Come on, mate. Let me back in my car. This is fascinating. I've got my full health back. So if you can get back in, you can get full health. That's so good. Alright, I gotta be. I'm running out my stamina. Okay. Bugger. Get absolutely wrecked, you you silly old fat head. Alright, what's this? A glimpse of wisdom. Yeah, give me one of them. 
Glimpse into your shell when consumed. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe we'll be coming. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. I'm gonna die from a frog. That's not good at all. I'm legit gonna die. What? Let me back in! Oh! Killed by a frog. Oh, my goodness. Alright. I feel like there's progress to be made, but I'm kind of just enjoying killing everything. I really need to find out where this bloody... There's got to be some sort of bonfire gameplay mechanic or some boss the game's going to make me get my head kicked in by. I'm not sure, but I'm having a bloody blast playing this much as it is. This is so good. I gave my love up. Ah, shit. Oh, we might try the roundabout way. Oh no, there, there is my thing right there. I want... Wait, how come it's still frozen? Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> yes! This game is off the chain! <laughs> Grand Theft skin! Oh man. Yeah, what is what is going on here? Oh! Okay, I got I got myself back, I think. I think Oh! oh! Where? Oh, there you are. Oh, shit. I'm not about that life. Hang on. Oh, Christ, we off the path now, team. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so I was over there. Okay, so there's sort of a down area there. Okay. This is freaking gorgeous, this game. Holy shit. I've taken a mush of d poison damage. No! Get an abundance of tar when consumed. Okay. Hey, I love tar. I think I'm gonna die here. Oh no, I'm good. I'm done being poisoned. So maybe there's no Estus in this. Which would be interesting, because the whole shell mechanic, if you can sneak back into your shell, you can just sort of keep rolling. Remnant of tar? Is that my- oh, that's like the currency. Okay, so we've got tar. Oh, I could have just zipped up here? Alright, that all seems like a bit of a dead end, and this I want to drop down the water, which I don't. These- these sirs mean business. Oh, 
Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, so you can only get back in your house once, I think. <sighs> okay. Okay, I get it. Ballast Tezuka. Oh, look at that. It's like a, a rocket launching crossbow. Well, I've seen it all now. All right, well, I mean, at this point, I'll probably just keep grinding. I might lose my soul, souls for quitting out now, but so it goes. Hmm, I'm really interested in how the leveling mechanic and all that works, but I guess that will become apparent. And uh, if needs be, I just would start again on this thing. I'm happy to play this demo as long as, long as it's got in it, if people are interested to see it. I am so psyched for this game now. This came out of nowhere. I had no idea. I'm so impressed with everything about it, and I, I am dying to play it on full release, but I'll just play this demo in the meantime. That works for me. Like I said, you can check it out yourself on the Epic Store, Mortal Shell, and uh, yeah, like I said, there's a free sort of version that I'm playing that you should be able to get to as well. Team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.